Welcome back guys. Uh, the end of this video you should be familiar with some of the fundamental section and rules. The first one states that we do not section web on the face. Uh, what is a web? A web is a sort of reinforcement. It acts as a support to give a material its rigidity. For example, this piece here, this triangular piece, it, uh, it's a support. It helps to strengthen this component. So we do not section web on when, when, when it is cut along the face, along the face or along the flat side, like here. We do not section it. However, if it is cut across like this, on the narrow side, we do section it. Right, so that's one example. Another example here of a uh, web. This web is used to reinforce this, to prevent this um, from flexing. So this adds some rigid rigidity to this. So we do not section this. And typically, web is thin when compared to the other part, other parts of the the component. Our component. Rule number two, use hatch, use hatch to show the section cut. Yes. So, and what is a hatch? A hatch is a lines that are drawn at an angle. See, for example, if we were to cut this here, I'll cut this here and remove this part. We would hatch the section to show the section where the knife or the cutting implement actually comes in contact. So it will look, it look something like this. And hatch are drawn at 60, I think it's 60 degrees. Yes. So these are the hatch. So we use hatch to show the section cut or the section where the knife or the cutting implement or instrument comes in contact with the metal. We do not section the part where, where the knife or the cutting implement does not touch. The next one is that we do not section shaft or pin. So uh, shaft is a round, is a, is a round or circular object that fits into a hole. So we do not section shaft. Yeah. Say for example, if we were to cut this here, cut along this, have this here, and we were to cut this here, it would look something like this. While sectioning, this 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 would have been a web, so we wouldn't section that part, and we would have cut through through the shaft. Again, we do not section shaft, so we don't section shaft, and we do not section the part that the 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 the, 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 cut, the knife or the, or the cutting implement doesn't come in contact with. So here we cut across here with the shaft with the shaft in here. We on the section here to here. So we do not section the shaft. We do not section the web and we do not section the part that the knife doesn't come in contact with. So from here, the knife cuts across here. It doesn't touch here. So here the section is left unhatched. Very important.
So pin a pin a pin is well, a small piece of wire. Yeah, pin. And the pin at times might be you might have a pin here to prevent this from moving from from um so might have a pin here to well a pin here or a pin on both sides to prevent it from slipping out or being removed. So again we do not section pin. Right? Number four, we do not section nuts, bolts, or washers. Yeah, we do not section them. So, say for example, if we have two pieces of material here. All right, let me use this one piece. Well, let me use one so I can both birds. Okay, so here, based on rule number four, do not section nuts, bolts, or washers. So um, we here, so we section this part, and also this part. Please note that when the material, when it's two separate pieces of material, you must section them in a different direction. Yeah, there must be section in different direction. And thirdly, I should have added that, that you are to section the thread. Threads must be sectioned as well. The thread must be sectioned as well. So this needs to go out into the, into the thread. All right, thread must be sectioned as well. So again, if it's two separate pieces of material being placed on each other and or being fastened by the bolt, we need to section them in opposite direction. All right? Do not section nuts, do not section not uh nuts, washers and bolts. We don't. Yeah? We don't. Rule number five, we do not section rivets, rib, or spokes. So rivets are basically some permit, some fastening devices that we use in material. All right. So if we're to rivet these in place and we were to cut along here it will look something like this so we do not section we do not section rivets yeah and again this is two separate pieces of material 
so we treat them as such all right we do not section rivets yeah do not section rivets and uh spoke spoke for example um So, so this this is a this is a, this is a wheel, and we have four spokes here. If we were to cut this across here, cut this across here. Yeah, we would not. So here, one two section is in contact right there. Would have been section this middle piece right here so here and down here yeah so here would have been the spoke so we would have shear hatch here as well here and this spoke probably would be in like here. Yeah. No, no, this needs needs to be there. Right. So here is the circumference, this part right here. I note that the cutting plane line cuts here, there, here, 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 there, and there. So we do not section spokes, this part right here. We don't section spoke, spokes. Because spore, uh, spokes acts as a reinforcement. So we do not section spokes. All right. We don't section rivet, ribs, and spokes. We don't section them. The sixth rule states that we do not section cut out holes or grooves. Yeah, for example, in this case, uh, we have this here where the cut is across you like this. Here we have a, a cut out, cut out here, which will have been this part. And a hole, I have a hole here as well. I have a hole here. And if I groove, say for example, a groove, oh, a groove, groove was here, a groove was there, we would not section the groove either. Uh, let's assume that a groove, let's assume that a groove is here. Let me just do this as is on this. And of course, we do not section web. So here is a hole. Hole. We do not section the hole. Yeah? Because we do not cut the actual, but only two parts of the hole. We cut here and here. Here and there. And down here. And of course, down to the groove, down to that right here. We cut across here, we cut across a web. And we do and we do not section a web on the flat side. 
or on the elevation. Neither do we section cut out. Because in reality, the, 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 the cutting implement only touches here. It did not touch here. So here has already been cut out, so we will not cut that out again. All right. So those are the basic rules for sectioning. Once you understand these rules, you're on your way to master sectioning. And the rules are very, very important. Very important to study them. Again, guys, remember to like and subscribe. Please drop me a comment if there's anything that you want me to cover specifically. Right?